Hey, Steve Gamlin here. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Vision Board Guy podcast. Here we go. Hey, I want you to think of a goal that you have for this year even. It doesn't have to be a long-term goal. Maybe it's even a goal for this week. Think of something you want to do this week. Just one of them. And I'm going to show you the basics of how this all works behind the scenes, even inside your mind and your heart, your soul, at a cellular level, the mechanics of how this stuff works. Okay, you got that one goal in mind. I don't know if you do, you might be nodding your head right now, or you might be giving me the thumbs up, or you might just be saying, you can't see me and I'm not going to do this. So that's okay. <laughs> Think of the goal as a part of the overall vision for your life in just one area of your life. And it could be in your physical health, your emotions that you want to feel on a regular, everyday basis, your closest relationships, your core values that guide everything you think, speak, and do, your faith and spirituality, if that's a big, important part of your life, your connection to the world in real ways. And, oh, my gosh, aren't we struggling with that these days, with everything on social media? We're not face-to-face enough. Could be in your job. It could be with regard to your money. Just think of one goal that you have in any one of those areas, or it could be something completely different. This is part of the overall vision for your life, this one goal, because it can be overwhelming to think of all those areas at once, right? All those eight areas, it's the life wheel. It's part of my vision board mastery program. And yes, it can be very overwhelming until people realize that all of those areas of our lives are actually happening 24 7, whether or not we're paying attention. So, we just pick one. <laughs> now think about it. What is one action you could take today to get just one little step closer to that one goal? Maybe there's a task you've been avoiding. Maybe there's a little bit of research you have to do to take the next step for something, and you've kind of been putting that off, pushing it to the side of your desk. Maybe there's a skill that you need to learn to get better at so that you can proceed and get closer to that result. Maybe there's a conversation you need to have with somebody that you've been, well, kind of putting off. Maybe there's a place you need to go to be able to get closer to that goal. And maybe there's a challenge that you need to admit that you have. Maybe there's something in the back of your head doubting that you can do something, or maybe you tried it in the past, but it didn't quite work out. Well, here's the thing. You're a different person now than you were then. So please think of the one step you could take today that could put you on the path to get you closer to that goal. So I talk a lot about my physical health. Three years ago, I weighed 247 pounds and I had to decide what I wanted to do to be healthier because that was the unhealthiest and the heaviest I'd ever been. So that one thing I did on the very first day was not have that nightly, very, very tall rum and Coke. (laughs) Haven't had one since the next decision was to drink water. You got to drink something. May as well drink water. That's a lot healthier. One decision after that, I just told my wife, Tina, one day I'm going to go for a walk. She said, really? (laughs) Because my butt had not been leaving the couch in the evenings. And uh, I was not exactly getting up super early in the mornings at that time. So I got up the next morning and went for a walk. Did it again the next day. Really started to enjoy it. So think of one step that you could take to get closer to one of your goals. And if you think about it, this is an analogy that I use a lot. I've used it here on the show and I use it on stage as well. If you think of it like an old wooden roller coaster, the ones that just go click, 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 you know, they don't get there too fast, but they're very systematic. They're very step by step. They've got a pattern and you just incrementally get from the parking lot level to the top. And when you go over the top, which means you've done all the tasks, all the steps, all the work you needed to do to get there. You then get to celebrate a ride down the other side. Like for me, when I hit my first set of target weight that I wanted to get to, and then my second one, and now I'm down around 221 pounds, which is 26 pounds gone, my ultimate goal is 198. So I just keep on getting up every day. I keep on drinking plenty of water. I keep on working out. 
I keep on making a fresh fruit and vegetable smoothie after my workout. I keep making better food choices throughout the day. See, all these little things. There were skills I needed to learn. There were conversations I needed to have with coaches and nutritionists. Places I need to go. I needed to go online and find me some good, affordable workout equipment, which I now have set up here in our home. So all of these things were steps that I had to take. And I'm taking steps just like this in all areas of my life. In my relationship with my wife, Tina. What are conversations we occasionally need to have? What are places we need to go together? We recently had to get our new passports because we're going on a, a trip later this year. And we kept putting it off and kept putting it off. And one day I finally said, babe, what do we need to do to get this? She goes, well, we got to take pictures. And neither one of us really loves having our pictures taken. So we came down here to my recording studio and we took pictures. And she said, well, I guess this one's okay. I can tolerate it. (laughs) But we did the paperwork. So now we will be able to go on our cruise. It was a task we had been avoiding. See, all these little things can really hang us up. They can really make it difficult for us to move forward. And the best part about pushing through and doing the work and getting to that next step, that next click up that roller coaster hill is I do one, I turn around, I say, all right, what do I need to do next? It's like priming a pump. It's getting that momentum going, getting that confidence building, hardwiring better habits to keep on going towards that goal, even if it's just the one goal that you set. I want you to start small. Start on the little kiddie coaster if you have to. It's okay. But think about that one goal you have in just one area of your life. Think about it like an old wooden roller coaster. You've just got to get up to the top. So what will you do today to click? And when you do it, when you do the step, look in the mirror, give yourself a thumbs up and say click. Or you can say what my vision board coaching clients say, click. Baby click. (laughs) That's how we celebrate our movements. That's how we celebrate our steps. That's how we celebrate our increments. That's how we celebrate our actions. Click, baby, click. So I hope you can say that for yourself today, and I hope you keep on going, chugging up that first hill. And after you do achieve that one goal and you get all the way around, scream your brains out and celebrate and get off at the end of what I want you to do, get back in line, set your next one and keep that momentum going and growing and keep on showing up to create the best version of your life. Is it always easy? Nope. Is it worth it? Yep. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hey, Steve Gamlin here. I'll be back very soon with a brand new episode of the Vision Board Guy podcast. You can also visit our Build a Life You Love with Vision Boards community at visionboard.group.